Hey there, Geeks Out. So today I've got something for all you poor, unfortunate souls who maybe like Cthulhu or Beholders from Dungeons and Dra- <laughs> We're gonna be making one of these. So here are the supplies you'll need. Some acrylic paint and paint brushes, some liquid latex, I'm using Cast and Crafts Mold Builder, um, a container to mix those two in, some tape, I'm using scotch tape, a pair of scissors, some craft wire, mine is 12 gauge aluminum wire, some plastic wrap, and a crap ton of plastic bags. Optionally, for the extra detail, you can also use some metal eyelets and or rings and some pink spray paint to create some pretty awesome suckers. Okay, we're going to power through these instructions. First things first. Take your aluminum craft wire and measure about the length of your leg. I want you to cut out double that size and fold it in half. What you should get is a piece like this. I've twisted both ends so that it's stuck together. You can see here's where I cut the wire off. That's step one. Step two is to take a crap load of plastic bags, like this guy here, and what you have to do is fold those bags tightly over the wire and then take tape and wrap that around the plastic bags. I'm going to do that now. Step three is to take your plastic wrap and cover what you've already created with the plastic wrap. The reason that we're doing this is that when we put the liquid latex on, it has a much better time adhering to the plastic wrap and gives it more of a uh, wet look that's really effective. If you apply it directly to the scotch tape, it's not going to apply very well and it's going to look kind of crappy. So let's do that. you want to do is apply liquid latex to the tentacle that you're making. So take your liquid latex and put it in a, an airtight container. Make sure it's airtight, otherwise your latex is going to dry out. Then add acrylic paint. The color is totally up to you. I'm using black and pink because those are Ursula's colors and that's the costume that I'm making. Um, but you can use whatever color you want. I've seen green. It looks really, really cool. I'd like to see yellow. Hint, hint. Um, Apply the latex, it smells like feet and it's not pleasant. Um, and let it dry for about three hours. I wait three hours just to err on the side of caution. It probably takes a lot less to dry, but you do want it mostly dry before you apply a second layer. What it's going to look like is this. This is one coat of latex and as you can see, it's still sort of transparent in areas. So I'm going to have to apply another coat and let it dry. This is also where I should remind you why it was important to double up on the length of wire that you're using, because it reinforces the tentacle. And the reason you want that is that while you're letting it dry, or maybe say a part of your costume is having the tentacle stand on its own, you need enough wire so that the weight of all of the plastic and latex doesn't wear it down. Um, yeah. Oh, also very important. If you're using more than one tentacle and you're, and you're in the midst of making them and you're having them dry, make sure not to let the tentacles touch each other. Liquid latex sticks to itself remarkably well. It's actually very frustrating. And, and if the liquid latex of one tentacle touches the liquid latex of another tentacle, wow, say that ten times fast, um, the latex will stick and it will start to pull off one of the tentacles, ruining the paint job that you've done. Of course, we can also use that to our benefit if you want to add some suckers to your tentacle, which ugh, I'm doing right here. All you got to do is take an eyelet or a metal ring, you can order them online, they're actually quite inexpensive, and cover the back in liquid latex and let that dry. 
And as you can see, latex on here sticks really nicely to the latex on there. And you've got awesome suckers. The last and final note is that when you're done with this, you have to seal the latex if you're using, of course, multiple tentacles and you don't want them to touch and stick. Um, and to do that, you can just use some baby powder or cornmeal or flour. Anything powdery tends to help seal it in a little bit. If you don't like the way that that looks and you want it to look kind of wet, then you'll have to buy a workable fixative in a craft store. They don't run more than, I think, $10. Um, and then you just spray that on there and it makes it so that you can touch, touch tentacles. So if anyone asks you where you got that awesome tentacle, tell them, geeks out. I got some tentacles, I'm gonna rock with them.